Coming up, I'm gonna go over some quick painting tips for my Around the House series, which will get you painting like a pro in no time. So stick around. Hi, I'm the OCD Hunter, bringing you tips, tricks, DIY hacks, and other useful ways that my OCD can help make your life a little bit more simpler. To help keep paint from dripping, double up your paint dish. This way, if paint drips down your dish, you don't have to worry about getting it on anywhere. Plus, with the double dish, you're able to set it down anywhere without getting paint on it. Finally, since you're holding the outer dish, you avoid getting paint on your hands. Make sure your cut-ins are wide enough. A common mistake is not to make your cut-ins wide enough. As a result, you have to get closer to the ceiling or the trim, and if you're not careful, it is easy to bump one of them with the roller. Having a wide cut-in line keeps you confident and away from those areas you don't want to paint. When rolling on paint, start in a section where you have not painted yet. Then work back to where you have painted. This will keep the paint even and avoid getting too much paint in one area to avoid paint from running. You have taken time to repair your walls. Then take time to prime your drywall compound at least once and maybe twice. By doing this, you avoid your paint showing the patches because of the different texture because of the raw drywall will absorb the paint more than your walls. Consider doing large projects in smaller sections. Large projects can feel overwhelming at times, which cause people to rush and make errors, which will have to be corrected. By taking a little bit more time and doing it in sections, you can help slow down and take the time to do things right the first time. When using a roller, make sure you use a relaxed grip. Holding on too tight to the roller will oftentimes result in pressing too hard against the wall, which will result in lines in your paint from the edges of the roller, and will fatigue your hand and your wrist quickly. Using a relaxed grip will help maintain the roller, so an even coat will be put on the walls and allow you the ability to be fluid with your rolling direction. A real quick and easy way to make cleanup mess free is to always use paint liners. One thing to keep in mind is there is always more potential paint running on the second coat. The first coat most likely will absorb and dry quicker because it's probably been a little while since you last painted. Whereas the second coat won't absorb or dry as quickly, so be careful not to leave too much paint in one area. Make sure you have proper ventilation. Paint can obviously have strong fumes, but the longer you're around it, the less noticeable it is to some people, and that's where the problem lies. Make sure that you have proper ventilation for your health and safety. Patience is king. Take your time. Rushing will always lead to errors that you'll have to go back and recorrect. I'm the OCD Hunter and I hope that my continual painstaking practice of changing, fixing, and improving on ideas will help you out in your endeavors. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of new videos. Comments are always welcome.